So if I took a poll of all the investigation questions over the last 10 years and I asked students which one they think is the hardest, this one may win. May 2016. Let's take a look at it. So I'm going to do this question as if I were in the exam, I'll ramble on a bit, but I just want you to get an idea of what my mind is thinking as I do the question, right? Um, I don't want to just do the question and you end up understanding this solution, but you can't do another question similar to it. So try and pay attention and see if you can catch the idea behind questions like these. Okay, so we have three patterns and we are asked to draw the fourth pattern. What's the fourth pattern? All right, well, we are seeing simply that everybody is taking a split into two. So he split, split, splat. He split into two and went to him. The end split into two. All right. Now, from this, I can immediately deduce, because I'm a maths teacher, that this is not, for the admats people, you call it AP and GP, arithmetic progression, geometric progression. I don't want to use those terms in a maths video. So what I'll say is this is not a straightforward sequence in that I'm just adding. It's more like I'm increasing exponentially. Watch how quickly it grows. It goes from this, then it goes to this, then it grows to this, and it's keep going bigger. It's multiplying up. It's exponential, if I use that word loosely. So it's not like if I have a block and I add on the next block and I add on the next block and I add on the next block. This is a straightforward, nice, linear relationship what we have here is not like that this is multiplying so it's increasing quicker all right if we watch here we'll see we have two sticks two sticks then we have four then we have eight the next set will be 16 and you just need to add up each previous all right let's get into the question and i'll show you how it's solved so the the drawing the figure is the easy part i understand that right so first you draw back figure three and you split it up Beep, 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 bow, bow, bow. You throw in your dots. Don't forget the dots. And you collect your two marks and move to the part of the question where the really important things start to happen. All right. So that's figure four. All right. So this is the table we are asked to fill. And every spot we fill, we get two marks for filling them. One mark, two mark. All right. So. Let's see how this works. Now, there's no visible pattern here. It went up by two. Then all of a sudden it went up by four. Watch here, we went up by four. Then all of a sudden we went up by eight. It's, so that is, that is kind of confusing. What I want you to know is that from the pattern you're supposed to pull out one single number. From every investigation question, at least if they bring it like this, you look for a number. So, the number that was important here is the number 2. It's splitting into 2 every time. And when it's not a straightforward relationship like adding on a 2, adding on a next 2, very likely we will need to use indices. So, I already know from experience that this would be 2 to a certain power. And the power is going to be n. 2 to the power of n. Now, 2 to the power, let's try this one. 2 to the power of 2 is 4. This isn't 4. That's 3. So how do we get it to go back to 3? Simple. To get it to go back to 3, 2 to the power of 2, we'll need to take away 1. So let's see if this works for the next one. 2 to the power of 3, take away 1, is, will that give us this 7? 2 to the power of 3 is 8. That's 2 by 2 by 2. 8. 8 take away 1 is 7. So it works. All right. So that's the relationship. I immediately found the relationship between this and that. Once you find that, you have already solved the question. So the real trick in the investigation question is to find the relationship between this column, which has the n, and this column, which has... Whatever it is, the number of nuts, number of strings, whatever it is they give you. So we found the relationship to be 2 to the power of the number take away 1. And this is important. I know it's going to have power because 
It's, it's not a straightforward relationship. It keeps going up exponentially. All right? All right, so let's continue with the question. 2 to the power 4 take away 1 is 16 take away 1 is 15. Now, obviously, for this one, you could just go back in the diagram and count the number of nuts that you got. So you can pull back the video and just count the number of nuts and you'll see it's equal to 15. What about the number of strings? This is, incidentally, 2 to the power of n plus 1. Because this is always one step ahead. One step ahead. One step ahead. One step ahead. So it's going to be 2 to the power of n plus 1. So really, it's 2 to the power of 5. Take away 1. Sorry, not take away 1 up there. Take away 1 down here. That's going to be 32. Take away 1. So this is 31. And I, as I said, once you solve the initial relationship, the question becomes mind-blowingly easy. Okay, I'm now checking out this part here, and it's maybe not mind-blowingly easy. But let's see. All right, so this is 255. We need to go backwards and figure out these things. All right, so what you need to do is add one to this. Why are we adding one? Because for this, what did we do? We put two to the power of the number, then we take away one from that answer. So if we are going backwards, we will need... So what you'll have to do is add one to this and you'll get 256. Now this number should look familiar. Have you ever done the game? 2 by 2 is 4 by 2 is 8 by 2 is 16 by 2 is 34 by 2 is 64 by 2 is 128 by 2 is 256. Right, so multiplying up by 2, we'll be able to decode what this should be. Or you can just use trial and error with your calculator. So, this number here is really 2 to the power of 8. So, this is 8? No, that won't be 8. This is going to be 8 take away 1. Why is it 8 take away 1? Because this whole column is always one step ahead of this column. So, this is going to be 7. I hope you caught that. And this one is going to be 2 to the power of 7 take away 1. 2 to the power of 7 take away 1. 2 to the power of 7, 128 take away 1 is 127. Alright, this one is simple. 2 to the power of 10. 2 to the power of 10, I think it's 1024. Uh, I used to play a game called 2048. So I kind of know these numbers offhand. You should probably download that game on your and start a play it's kind of pretty it's pretty cool it's pretty cool all right and finally right here we'll have 2048 all right so i hope this cleared up some thought process i know i kind of ramble for this video but i just want you to get a little idea of how i would think when i'm doing the question um keep in mind this is an investigation question they have all rights to bring whatever they want in this question this question is really supposed to be a combination of elements from the syllabus where you have to kind of investigate so but traditionally for the last 10 years they have been bringing it with these kind of series and sequences look out for the next video i'm going to do another sequence drop some comments below on the topics that you want me to do this was a requested video so i'm just doing it one time somebody requested this yesterday so boom here it is till next time